We're now going to install Mailgun's official uh, software development kit for PHP. And this basically acts as a really easy way to um, add users to uh, lists, which we just created a moment ago, and do things like send out email, etc., etc. There's lots we can do here. So we're going to need to install this with Composer. Um, I mean, we don't have to, but the best way probably to do this is with Composer. So if you head over to Packagist uh, and have a search for Mailgun slash Mailgun PHP, or probably just Mailgun PHP. Now, if you don't have Composer, you're going to need to head over to getcomposer.org and install Composer. Basically, Composer is just a dependency manager for PHP. And uh, of course, if we're building an application that sends email uh, with Mailgun, then the Mailgun PHP SDK is a dependency. So if we basically head over to a terminal, uh, this works on Windows as well, and run Composer, that just uh, confirms that Composer is installed. So as long as you're within the mailing list directory or wherever you're storing this, we're good to go. Now inside of Sublime, you can see that I've got a, a root directory here called mailing list. I've got subdirectories like CSS, and these are the uh, this is the markup for the forms that we'll be looking at later. Um, inside of the root directory, though, if we create a new file, uh, we're going to save this as composer.json. Now what this does is it allows us to specify all of the dependencies that we will require for our project. Now, under Packagist, you can see here that this is the dev master, uh, basically, instance of the Mailgun uh, SDK. So, what we're going to do here is, once we've created this, we can then run Composer install. What that will do is that will install the dependency and any dependencies that the Mailgun SDK has as well. You can see that it has a couple here. And then that they're then installed inside of this vendor folder. Now, inside of the vendor folder, we also have this autoload.php file, which we can include to allow us to access the functionality within this Mailgun uh, SDK. So what we're going to do is inside of mailing list, we're going to create a new file and I'm going to call this init.php. Now inside of here, we're going to create everything that we may need between confirm.php, send.php and subscribe.php. So this just gives us uh, the ability to specify everything here so we don't have to repeat ourselves. Now this can be uh, depending on your application included anywhere. There may be different ways for you to do this. But let's um, basically create a new Mailgun instance, a new Mailgun public instance, um, and uh, let's also create an opt-in handler. We'll look at how, uh, sort of what we do with these later. But the first thing we need to do is actually allow us to take uh, the Mailgun API and use it. So we include autoload.php from the vendor folder which was installed with Composer. Now I'm going to define here a couple of uh, constants and the first one is mailgun key. Now the mailgun key is what you have on your dashboard over here so we can just copy and paste this value and we can paste it into there and we want to define the mailgun public key as well, which we also have uh, on our dashboard here. So I can just copy that and paste that into there. So we've defined them. Now there's a couple of other things that we need to define as well. The first one is the domain that we're working with. And remember, we're working with our uh, test uh, sandbox domain. So let's say mailgun domain. And all we need to do here is copy and paste this value and paste that in there. Now, we will also need to go ahead and define the list that we're adding users to. Remember, we have already created this. So let's grab the domain for this uh, or the address for this rather. So if we head over to the mailing list tab, this is the uh, address for it here. It's basically whatever you called it at your sandbox domain or your domain if you have one added. Uh, remember, we can't use this uh, sandbox in production. So we're also going to define a secret 
uh, phrase or pass phrase, if you like, uh, that allows us to pass this in when we're generating things like hashes. Uh, this just ensures that no one else knows this value and they can't generate hashes on your behalf. And I'm just going to write anything in here, but you can just write a load of rubbish in here. It really doesn't matter as long as it stays secret. So now what we want to do, once we've def now that we've defined all of this information, um, we're going to be using this in all of these files, so it's useful to have constants like this. Um, we're going to instantiate uh, two Mailgun instances, one providing in our public key and one providing in our private key. So the first one we're just going to call Mailgun. So Mailgun is actually namespaced under Mailgun, so we need to do this, Mailgun slash Mailgun, and then we provide in our mailgun key. It's as easy as that and that gives us the, all of the functionality we need to add users, send the email, etc, etc. Now I'm also going to create a variable called mailgun validate and we use this later on to validate email addresses and what this does is when a user is subscribing to your list it validates that this isn't uh, an email address that's been marked as a spam email address or uh, it doesn't exist or you know if it's just not a, a valid email address at all. So it's not just looking at the valid, uh, validity of the actual string you're passing, it looks at uh, the genuineness of the email as well. So this, instead of passing in our private key, we just uh, pass in our public key. So in this case, it's just pub key. That's it. So we also have an opt-in handler that we need to grab from our Mailgun instance, which is this here. So let's create a Mailgun opt-in variable, and we will call, uh, take this from Mailgun, and it's an opt-in handler method that we need to call. So this allows us to do things like actually uh, add users to lists and stuff like that, but we'll be looking at that later. So what we need to make sure that we do is within each file where we want to access all of this functionality, uh, we want to include it. So I've already created all the markup uh, for, our, for the form. You're likely going to have your own markup with your own styles. But let's create a opening and uh, ending PHP tag here, and let's require in init.php. And this just lets us check that everything's working. We want to do that on the send file, the subscribe file, and the confirm file as well. And we can get rid of the ending tag on that file. So if we head over to here and I don't know, go on to subscribe.php. Uh, this is the styles. Um, I've created a style sheet in here which contains all of these styles, uh, but you're, like I said, likely going to have your own. So now that we've included init.php on this uh, page, it looks like we're not seeing any errors. So I can assume that uh, we've successfully instantiated and uh, done everything we need to inside of init.php. So good to know that was a little bit uh, verbose and it's a little bit messy because we're just putting it all into one file. Uh, but now that's clear, we can go on and actually start to subscribe users to our mailing list.